So, Suicide Squad is finally here, and it is written and directed by David Ayer, and stars Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto, Jai Courtney, Viola Davis, Jay Hernandez, and plenty other people playing bad people. And the government is concerned that a new version of Superman may come soon in the future, and they want to make a team of bad people who can possibly do some good metahumans and protect the world from a possible event of a bad Superman. So they get the team together, which consists of Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Killer Croc, Diablo, and plenty of others, in hopes that they can to help fight alongside the government and the military when a bad event or bad person tries to take over the world. I don't want to ruin the movie for you because they really kept the plot under wraps. I really didn't know who the bad person is, like the main villain. We all know they're bad people, but who is really the main villain? What is the storyline about? I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I really didn't know much about it. So uh, yeah, the Suicide Squad is trying to fight this bad main villain person and stop them from trying to take over the world. And if they don't listen or they try to run away, they will kill them. So they're really doing it against their own free will. I was really looking forward to Suicide Squad with Batman v Superman being a disaster in my opinion and a big letdown. I was hoping that Suicide Squad would bring DC fans and the DC name back up from the grave because Batman v Superman crushed it down low. And I was hoping that David Ayer and this team of bad people would do some good and do this name some justice. Now, there is some controversy with this film that it is pretty bad. Rotten Tomatoes has this really, really low and people are petitioning that Rotten Tomatoes be shut down because they feel like they're just targeting DC fans and they hate them. Um, I'm not going to get into that at this moment, but Coming out of Suicide Squad, I was pleased and disappointed at the same time. It is much better than Batman v Superman, but it is not the best superhero movie I've ever seen. Positives of Suicide Squad, everybody plays their part really well. Will Smith was surprisingly really good and I would view him as the main star of this movie. He was a person who was very unpredictable and he did a really great job of being aggressive and very unpredictable but also at times having a, just a little bit of humanity towards him that he might protect you and help you along the way. Then you had Margot Robbie who was amazing. She was beautiful in here. She did a great job capturing that craziness, that joyful, that sweetness to Harley Quinn that we have known from the comics since she was released in the early 90s. She did a great job. Her costume was pretty cool and she just captured everything about Harley Quinn really well. Now another surprise is Jai Courtney. I despise Jai Courtney very much. I hate him in Good Day to Die Hard, the Divergent movies. Anything he is in, I just want to scratch my eyes out. But here, he was pretty fun. I liked his little accent. I liked that he carried around this little unicorn. He was a fun character. Not the biggest character, but he was cool. I have Jared Leto. The one thing I was looking forward to the most in Suicide Squad was Jared Leto's portrayal of the Joker. I love his laugh. I love his look. I love everything about the Joker from the previews. Now coming out of it, we didn't get much of the Joker, so I can't tell you how much I really loved him. If he was the main star of this movie, I probably would have a different opinion, but I liked him. I liked him a lot in here. I thought he was really cool. Wasn't truly sinister or intimidating as I wanted him to be, but it was a different approach to the character of the Joker. It's very gangsterish in here, but still I really liked him. The fight scenes were fun. The music soundtrack was really cool. My issue with the film is the storyline and the introduction and the pacing to this movie. Now the introduction, the beginning is spent talking about these characters, their past, and how they got to the prison in the first place. They don't even explain some of the characters and then they do a lot of explaining for the other characters. And I feel like some of the characters that they did explain, they didn't do it very much justice. These are really big characters like Deadshot and Harley Quinn, Killer Croc. These are characters we have known in the past. For some of these characters, this is the first time they are on screen. You want to introduce them 
in an amazing way, a really cool way, and just not have Viola Davis explain to people at a table who these people are. Yeah, we got to see a little bit of Harley Quinn's past, Deadshot's past, but I was left wanting more to their introductions. Then we have the main villain of the story, which I felt like was very shoehorned in and didn't do a great job explaining this person's motives for what they were doing, and that all felt very rushed as well. Overall, I really liked some parts of Suicide Squad. I'll be honest, I liked the characters, I liked the portrayal of the characters by the actors and actresses. I think they did an amazing job. The soundtrack was really fun. There were some funny lines throughout. The action scenes were pretty cool, but my main issue with this movie is the introduction to these characters the pacing and the overall storyline to it. It's not the biggest disappointment, but I was left wanting more from this film. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Suicide Squad a B minus. It is much better than Batman v Superman in my opinion. I'd honestly go see Suicide Squad again and I'd probably buy it. I did not see Batman v Superman once more after I saw it the first time and I did not buy it on Blu-ray have no plans to. Suicide Squad is a little bit different. I can tell where DC is wanting to go with their universe, but they are trying to get to the Avengers side of the Marvel, which they are very successful with critically and box office wise. I think that DC just needs to slow it down and then they'll do some good. I bet you anything they will do some good if they slow this thing down. So this is Just Watch Movies. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Just Watch Movies here on YouTube. And you stay classy, YouTube.